Welcome to our channel Storm Rider. The BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 is one of the most significant milestones in the modernization of the Philippine Navy, symbolizing the country's step into a new era of maritime defense and regional cooperation. Named after the national hero Dr. Jose Rizal, this multi-role frigate represents both pride and progress for the Philippines. Built by Hyundai Heavy Industries, HHI of South Korea, the ship is based on the HDF-2600 frigate design, which is a derivative of South Korea's Incheon-class frigates. But make no mistake, this vessel isn't just another warship on the ocean. It's a powerful, smart, and versatile destroyer frigate that can perform multiple missions across air, surface, and underwater domains. The BRP Jose Rizal measures around 107 meters in length, with a beam of 14 meters, and a displacement of about 2,600 tons. It's compact enough to maneuver through the country's narrow sea lanes, but large enough to carry advanced weaponry and sensors that make it a formidable force. The ship's sleek design follows stealth principles. Its superstructure has smooth, angled surfaces that reduce radar cross-section, making it harder for enemy radar systems to detect. This stealthy profile gives the ship a tactical edge during missions that require discretion, and surprise. In terms of performance, the BRP Jose Rizal is powered by a combined diesel and diesel CODAD propulsion system, featuring two MTU 12V11963 TB93 engines. This setup enables the frigate to reach a top speed of around 25 knots, with an operational range of approximately 4,500 nautical miles at 15 knots. These figures allow the ship to patrol vast areas of the Philippine exclusive economic zone without frequent refueling stops. Its endurance and range are crucial for extended missions in the West Philippine Sea, where maritime patrols and sovereignty operations are becoming increasingly important. The ship's mission capabilities are what truly define it as a multi-role platform. It is equipped for anti-air warfare, anti-surface warfare, anti-submarine warfare, and electronic warfare. The frigate carries a 76 mm Auto Malara Super Rapid Gun as its main armament, capable of engaging both sea and air targets with high accuracy and rate of fire. Complementing this are two Asselson Smash 30 mm secondary guns for close-in defense. For surface warfare, the ship has provisions for SSM 700K Sea Star anti-ship missiles each capable of hitting targets over 100 kilometers away with precision-guided warheads. In anti-submarine operations, it is fitted with torpedo launchers that can fire lightweight torpedoes designed to track and neutralize underwater threats. For air defense, the BRP Jose Rizal is designed to carry surface-to-air missile, SAM systems. Although some components are still in the process of integration or planned upgrades under the Navy's future modernization phases, this modular approach means that the ship can be upgraded over time, keeping it relevant and adaptable to evolving threats and technologies. One of its most impressive features is its Combat Management System, CMS, supplied by Hanwha Systems. The CMS integrates data from all sensors and weapon systems, allowing the ship's crew to detect, track, and engage multiple targets simultaneously. This system is like the brain of the ship, processing complex information, and supporting rapid decision-making during high-pressure situations. Another essential component of the ship's design is its sensor suite. The BRP Jose Rizal is equipped with a state-of-the-art radar and sonar system, including a 3D air and surface surveillance radar that can detect incoming aircraft, ships, and missiles at long ranges. For anti-submarine missions, the ship uses a hull-mounted sonar to locate enemy submarines lurking beneath the waves. The integration of these sensors into the CMS ensures that the crew has a real-time, 360-degree view of the surrounding battle space. This makes the BRP Jose Rizal not just a ship that reacts, but one that anticipates threats. The frigate also features a modern communication and navigation system that enables seamless coordination with other naval and air units both domestically and internationally. This interoperability makes it a valuable asset during joint exercises with allies such as the United States, South Korea, and Japan. In fact, the BRP Jose Rizal has already participated in international maritime exercises like RIMPAC, RIM of the Pacific Exercise, 
showcasing the Philippine Navy's growing capabilities and commitment to regional security. One of the highlights of the ship's design is its aviation capability. The BRP Jose Rizal features a flight deck and hangar that can accommodate a helicopter up to 10 tons in weight, such as the AW-159 Wildcat or similar maritime helicopters. These aircraft can perform anti-submarine warfare, search and rescue, and surveillance operations, extending the ship's reach far beyond its radar horizon. The integration of helicopter operations significantly enhances the ship's ability to detect and respond to threats across multiple domains. Inside the ship, the design focuses on crew efficiency and comfort, with accommodations for around 65 officers and enlisted personnel. The interior layout is organized to support long deployments, with advanced control rooms, automation systems, and digital monitoring consoles that reduce crew workload. This emphasis on automation allows a relatively small crew to operate a complex warship effectively, improving overall efficiency during missions. What makes the BRP Jose Rizal particularly special is not just its technical sophistication, but also what it represents for the Philippines. For decades, the country's naval fleet consisted mainly of aging ships transferred from other nations. The commissioning of the Jose Rizal class frigates marks the first time the Philippines has acquired modern, purpose-built warships that can stand alongside the fleets of neighboring countries. It's a leap forward in technology, capability, and national pride. In terms of operational roles, the BRP Jose Rizal is not just a warfighting platform. It's a tool for diplomacy and humanitarian service as well. It can support disaster relief operations, search and rescue missions, and maritime law enforcement tasks. Its advanced communication systems enable it to serve as a command and control platform during joint missions, coordinating naval, air, and even civilian operations. This versatility ensures that the ship remains useful, not only in times of conflict, but also in peacekeeping and humanitarian efforts. Of course, no system is without challenges. The ship's initial delivery came with some issues, including delays and adjustments in subsystems integration. There were also discussions about future upgrades, such as the installation of vertical launch systems, VLS, for medium range missiles and enhanced electronic warfare suites. But these are expected developments in any defense modernization program and the Jose Rizal class is designed to be modular, meaning it can evolve as the country's defense budget and technological partnerships grow. Overall, the BRP Jose Rizal FF-150 stands as a symbol of how far the Philippine Navy has come and where it is heading. It combines modern design, advanced sensors, and multi-role capability into a single efficient platform. It's not just a ship. It's a message of readiness, modernization, and commitment to safeguarding the nation's maritime interests. For the people of the Philippines, it represents both security and sovereignty. For the Navy, it's a floating fortress and a proud step toward becoming a truly modern maritime force. And for the region, the BRP Jose Rizal signals that the Philippines is ready to take its place among the capable naval powers of the Asia-Pacific.